I'm a product of the sesh, just had the eye on my brain I'm really insane, I'm bouncing out, doing my thing Young boy with the shit, I put the low out in game All that dissing on the net, if we catch him, get his brain fried I ain't clicking up with nothing, all my flesh is on trade time Set up by the bitch, get his brains blue on FaceTime I'm extra on the set, from the streets to the main line Catch him down bad, make the bullets get up in his ass These shells gon' catch a nigga in high school, they was running What's the deal, 808 ENT, baby? Got new interview in the building, up and coming Long Beach artist. You mind introdu introducing yourself? Oh yeah, they call me Uh Dog. Uh Dog Three Pause. Y'all go ahead and uh, tap in. Music just dropped. Uh, Good Game just dropped. It's on every major platform. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get a bar. Go tap in Uh Dog on Instagram. U T T D A W G. Yes sir, yes sir. So first thing I wanted to ask you is because you have a very unique and different rap name. Where where did it originate from? Where did you get it from? When I was um, when I was young, my family gave me the name Utter. Like they used to call me um, Utter McGutter. So then my they just start calling, start transitioning into Ut, and then my brother start calling me Ut Dog, and then I just I just ran with it and embraced it. That's what's up. That's what's up for sure for sure. So what growing up in Long Beach like? What is it like? Shit, the city, the city different. People be thinking the city sweet. The city not sweet at all. Like, yeah. it's like everything close. So you you could go a couple blocks and you'll be in another hood, and then you would go a couple another blocks and then it's a whole another hood. Like we all by each other. Like, and then everything is just you know everything is how it is. But it's smooth for the most part. Like if it, if that's not like if you you it's lane. So if you chose to go play football, you chose to go play basketball. Yeah. Niggas will let you do that. Like, you feel me? Ain't nobody gonna bother you if you, that's what you own. But if you choose this shit, then you feel me? You know what you're signing up for. Nah, I feel it. I grew up in I grew up in Long Beach for about like a cool like year and a half. So I lived on like off Redondo and Anaheim. I went to Long Beach Wilson, so mm -hmm. I, I already know how it is. Out exactly here. Where that's at. But I wanted to ask you because some people don't know. Like, what is the difference between East Side Long Beach and the difference like in North? west and south like what's the difference the east side we're the most virus we are long beach you most feel me and then you got the north and then you got the west and then one not really got no south but it's like a little more suburban area but for the most part like it's, it's we definitely got our own size like and it's a definitely a difference in the niggas on the like on the each each different side for sure i feel it i feel it so like well, what schools did you attend this year when I was young, I went to, um, for elementary, I went to Lee. That shit, um, that's off of um, Temple. That's, that's off of Temple and um, I think like 16th. Mm. But they changed the name to something else, like some weird shit. And then middle school, I went to uh, Marshall because I was bad in elementary. I couldn't go to school on the east side no more. Yeah. So I had to, uh, they sent me to Marshall and Lakewood, but it's still Long Beach, like, district. So I went to, I went there. And then from middle school, I went to uh, Lakewood. Okay, okay. I mean, high school, I went to Lakewood. Speaking on Lakewood, like, what is, what are the similarities between Long Beach and Lakewood, and how are they connected? Because, like, how L.A. County got, like, how it's L.A. County, and then you got the cities within L.A. County, basically, like, Lakewood, like, a branch off of, like, Long Beach. Like, it's still, like, Long Beach, like, basically. But it's like a more suburban area, like white people and like all the shit like that. Yeah, see, so I, I was born in Inglewood, like in Los Angeles. So I, you feel me? That's how I feel pretty much about Inglewood, like in LA. Like they're connected, but it's like Inglewood, like a branch off of LA mm -hmm. type of thing. But uh, so I wanted to like trans translate to music and things like that. Uh, when you're making music, what does it mean to you? And like, what is the goal? What is the message to saying? Like, what, like, is it our like, do you find music as just like a hobby or a way out? Music music was just my calling. Like, i always been around music my whole life. So, yeah, I, there was no getting away from it. Like, I'll rap and then I'll take a break. I'll rap and then I'll take a break. But rap just always be finding the nigga. Like, yeah. and then when I get in there, it's just like, it's just so easy. Like, this shit really easy. I don't even write no more. I just get in there and I just tell my, well, tell a story. You feel me? I don't. I, I, the, 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 I don't live the life that I portray in my music, Instagram, nothing. It's all for entertainment purposes. I just tell a story of where I come from. Understood, understood. So growing up, what artists were you influenced by? Like, did you listen to any artists or were you even influenced by any artists? I was influenced by the, um, by the Chicago scene, the drill scene. That shit really, like, made me start, like, 
I heard you say in an early interview that your family from Chicago. Yeah, of my whole family. Yeah, my whole family from Chicago. I'm the only one from Long Beach. Okay, okay. So everybody else from everybody else from out there. My brother, he from out here, but he like he he his dad from St. Louis. So he was going back and forth from out here to St. Louis. But my brother from Long Beach too. But I'm the only one really from Long Beach. Like everything that that like my all, all my roots is here. That's what's up. Okay. So. Did like what? Uh, uh, still the same question. Like, what artists did you grow grow up listening oh, okay, to? Like, yeah. like from um, Chicago type shit. Uh, first I was uh, listening to uh, Chief Keef Camp. Yeah, I was listening. Yeah, no, to that was him. my favorite so, rapper for a minute. Yeah, Chief Keef. Um, my favorite one was Fredo and Lil Reese. Fredo, really, Lil Reese. Fredo. Yeah, for sure. For sure, Lil Reese. Lil Reese remind me of my brother. Yeah. So he looked they look similar, they were the, the same Lil, you Reaper. know, like yeah, that's my brother for sure. So I fuck with Lil Reese and then uh LA Capone. Yeah, that was one of my favorite artists before he LA passed Capone, away. Man. And then um I ain't really too much listen to the um they they ops or nothing like that, but I ain't getting any politics or nothing, but them niggas just wasn't fucking with the news. Nah, nah, nah less lucky facts, but I feel you. Sure. So um what mainstream artist are you looking forward to working with in the future? If like you're going, if you if you are looking forward to forward uh, to working with them, definitely. Uh, I'll probably do something with uh, Dirt for sure. I'm not really intrigued about um, everybody liking the industry because they don't really got my sound and I don't relate to their music. That's right. So I don't really like you know I'm not no big industry fan. Like I listen to the underground. Like I'll be listening to the homies. Yeah. So you feel me? I would I would say the homies, but. I'd make music with the homies, so definitely my my influences in the music I like come from my section. So that's really me. Like you feel me? That's really my my type of genre. Okay. Speak speaking on your section and the homies, mm -hmm. all the rappers from your area have different styles and flows. No mm -hmm. one particularly like they sound the same. Mm -hmm. How how do you guys find that flow and like stick with it and sound like unique? You guys have a very unique type of flow out here in Long Beach, especially your circle. I found my flow accident, like in the like just in the studio, it was a different type of beat, and then I uh, that's just how I came, and then I I start fucking with it. Dave was fucking with the flow, and then I was just like, yeah, that's that's the one. Then I just start fucking with that flow. Uh, I'm really versatile too. Like I could fuck with the auto tune. I could do all the shit. Like all that shit coming for sure. Uh, Flame, he versatile as fuck. He he been rapping for a long time. So What's his flow, I, I really can't tell you where his flow come from. He been rapping since rapping been rapping. And then uh, Sav, he's just the fucking cuz is just he's crazy. Yeah. He, his his cuff, he got loads of flows. Like and then he got the voice. So his voice, he just play with all the shit. The That's nigga right. be in the studio engineering himself, like yeah. from outside telling the engineer what to do. Like. But he he's a fucking genius when it comes to that shit. Nah, he is very creative for sure. What about, uh, I wanted you to also like what about Smack Three? Speak on Smack Three a little bit. Yeah, Smack Smack Cold too. Like definitely, he 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 Smack go crazy. Cause his flow. He, uh, I don't know where he gets his flow from. <laughs> Cub flow like he he got shit that I hear and be like, damn, that's snack. Like, damn, like he he just switch it up on shit. Like it really go off the beat, and then he really got the like he got that club banger type of song. Like he he got that like that do say. I don't know if you heard it. No, do say is actually one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Like, bro, it's yeah. super creative. Yeah, definitely. He yeah. he fuck with the um. And then he that grab, you know, that grab the females, you feel me? They love that shit. Like people from way out, like, you feel me? I'll be in the IE and they'd be off the sm they'd be off smack, like yeah. cuff flow crazy too. He nah, versatile bro, I, as fuck. I heard about him actually like three years ago when I around the yeah. time I was in high school. Yeah, so. smack was going crazy. Yeah. Dead homie. For sure. Um I wanted you to explain because a lot of fans they might not know what it means to politic. I wanted you to explain what politicking is to the fans, if you mind. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Like hood politics. Yeah. Like it's consequences. Like we know what we signed up for, so it's consequences for everything. So if you do wrong, and y'all know what doing wrong is, so if you do wrong, it's gonna it's gonna be repercussions for what you did. You feel me? It's gonna get politic perfectly. And then you gon' it's gonna you gonna get disciplined. It's gonna be a disciplined type of situation. Like 
it, that's that's just simple. Like that's just politics. Like that's politics. So if like say if something was to happen right here and I'm with the homie and, and I do bunk or he do bunk, it's gonna be politics and it's gonna be politic on me and it's gonna be politic on him. Find out what happened when it comes to the bottom of it. That's just structure that just come with the shit. Yes, sir, we heard that. Okay. So just like Long Beach and Lakewood are connected similarly. Long Beach and Los Angeles are also connected in a certain sense. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Would you agree? What you mean by connected? Like L.A. County? Not L.A. County, no. Just when it comes to artists, the music, sound, all of that. Like, one, we're in Cali. We're not too far from each other. So mm -hmm. we all are We're we're very similar. You feel me? So, like, do you agree? Mm. No? We different. Okay. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, the, I don't think it's the same. It it probably gets similar now that the spotlight is, you feel me, now the spotlight on us, it might get similar. Niggas will probably be like, you feel me, niggas will like how shit is and then niggas will take it and then switch it up and then make it, you know, remake some. But I don't think, I don't think we too similar. Everybody know we not similar how, like that. How do you feel LA and Long Beach differ from each other? How are you guys different? For one, we we always been different since like the jerking scene. You feel me? Like but from way back when, then when we had the jerking shit going, we just we just different niggas. You feel me? Them niggas. You feel me? They got it's you know it's older niggas over there that they not accept. You feel me? They can't. The young niggas really can't be themselves over there. You feel me? Niggas gotta answer to somebody. You feel me? Or if they if they try to be themselves and then they say if they are like this, niggas would be on them for that. Like you feel me? So. When we was fucking with the um we was fucking with the jerking scene, you feel me? We had we did the skinny jeans, we did all the shit. You feel me? Skinny jeans was booming. If you had some skinny jeans on, you was a nigga. You feel me? <laughs> Bitches was loving niggas in skinny jeans. Them niggas couldn't wear skinny jeans. You feel I'm me? Right. They, they couldn't wear skinny jeans. Just like the stack pants now. If you really throw that shit on, you throw them stack pants on, you're gonna be fly. You feel me? The bitches like that type of shit, but these niggas gotta answer to a nigga. Them niggas throw some stack jeans on. Oh, them girl jeans, like, that's gay, you feel me? It be, it just, I don't know, I feel like it just come from politics. No, nah, you you're me? not it lying. Just, it just come from politics. Niggas can't really be they self like how they want to. For sure. So, moving outside of L.A. and outside of the state of Cali, I saw, I, I, I don't want to say it was two years ago, but it might have been about two years ago, you and Flame was on stage with a New York artist, Max the Demon. Mm hmm Right? Uh, how do you feel about Max the Demon? You did your whole work, huh? Oh, most definitely. I always do. Max, that's my boy. Max go crazy. That's the and, and that's the New York drill scene. Hell yeah. You feel me? So Max go crazy. I fuck with Max. He that's my brother. Yeah. He he like a brother for sure. sure. How do you feel about making music in New York drill scene? Like, would you collaborate with them? I got songs with uh, with Max for sure. We definitely gonna do something else. But I got um I got some shit with Max. A couple already times. out. No, nah, it's not out. Okay, I was about to say, I didn't run into that. Yeah. I was about to say. I had dropped it, but I had took it down. No. I had dropped like a project, but I had took the whole project down. Okay. But I got some shit with Max for sure. Nah, I feel that. Yeah, the, the, honestly, the city got to hear that, bro. That's that's fire. He went crazy, too. Max the Demon is, is fire, bro. So, actually, he went crazy. Flow with bro flow, I could just imagine it already. Like, that shit got to be fire. And I didn't have that flow yet. You uh, feel me? So, he, he still adapted to our beat, all the shit. He went crazy. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Uh, any any other artists that night, like Comethazine, y'all fucked it with anybody else that night that y'all collaborated? Nah, nah. I didn't. I don't. I, I didn't even see him or nothing like that. Oh, okay, okay. I, I just went. I went on. We had our own. You know, we had backstage. We had all the shit. So I came from backstage perform, and then we got on really after Max performed. Okay, is Max the Demon the only New York drill artist you happen to fuck with, or anybody? Is there anybody outside of the state you fuck with besides Max? I fuck with uh Siggy Black shit. Okay, okay. He's from out there. He's from the hood too. Nah, nah, I know Siggy Black. Yeah, Siggy yep. Black go crazy. Um, I fuck with the nigga. Um, I like the nigga uh, Ron Buno. I like his music too. He yep. go crazy. He had a hit for sure. Yeah. Out of um uh, out the state really. That'll probably be it for sure. For sure, for sure. I feel it. I know I asked you off camera already. Um, you you don't smoke weed, no? Mm -mm. Okay, okay. Is there a reason for that? No, it just wasn't. It's just not for me. I feel it. I feel it. Um, so I wanted to revert back to music, of course. Um, what's the difference between your flows on Utter the Great Three and your new flow today? 
You remember the song under the Great Thick Course. Definitely. I can't, nobody ain't gonna let me forget it. <laughs> uh, um, under the Great Three, I wrote that. So sometimes when I, um, when I write, that's when flows really like, um, when I be getting in a different bag, like I wrote that, um, cause I was staying in the IE. So I wrote that in a car. Like I was just in a car, I heard the beat. I'm like, oh, this go crazy. Then I just wrote it. And then I, that's when I first started really like punching in. And then that shit just go crazy. I really, I really want to um, shoot the video again for that. For sure, for sure. So, so you want to have a you? You can always do a part two. Uh, that's part three. Oh no! Yeah, you're right. You can always do a part four. It's a part four. It was already a part four. Yeah. Damn. It's a part four on SoundCloud. Okay, for sure, for sure. So it's not on YouTube already. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, do you plan on shooting a video for part four? Uh, most, most likely. I don't know because when I make, I keep making new shit and then we shooting the new shit. So I don't, I gotta get there. I just gotta get to it. Okay. Okay. So, um, originally you just dropped, you, of course you just dropped your new mixtape. Gert, Gert. That's how I pronounce it, right? Good at game. Good at game. Okay. Um, you collaborated with a couple of artists from Los Angeles and Long Beach. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you talk about how you um, how you linked up with P4K from Baby Song Realist? Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, I got a manager. Well, I got two managers. So my uh, I told my manager, I'm like, he go crazy, like you feel me. And then everybody be like uh, saying, everybody be like saying that that he be reminding them like of me. Mm -hmm. So and then I start listening to his shit, and then his shit hard. So I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I do something with him. Then I tap, I had my manager tap in with him, he hit back. And then we got it out the way. Uh, that's what's up. You guys sound for sure do compliment each other, like in a big way. So I feel it. Um, is there any... Sob just did the shit with them too. That's true. And I saw I saw you you were in a music video, all right? That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, is there any new music coming from the any new music videos coming from the new tape besides Spin Again? Uh, everything. I think every like most of yeah, definitely. It's it's definitely. I think Pat Ryan video. got a music video as well. Yeah, a lot of them. Um, a lot of them songs on there got music videos already. Yeah. But um, uh, definitely the ones that don't definitely coming for sure. Me and Flame gonna shoot uh backlash. Um, me and Sav gonna shoot top uh top ten. Okay. It's a lot of the uh, it's a lot of shit on there that's gonna get shot for sure. Okay. How do you pace yourself when it comes to dropping music? I don't really pace myself. I just try to be consistent now because that's what they like. That's what they want to see. That's so facts. I really just drop something every week, honestly. Uh, that's facts. Okay. And, and then I wanted to ask, because you did touch on when you when I spoke on Utter the Great Three, you said you wrote that song. Mm -hmm. So how, like, how, when it comes to writing and freestyling, like, how do you pace yourself on that? Like, do you just go in there and flow or do you, do you write? When I free, when I uh, how often do you write? How often do you freestyle? I don't. I haven't wrote in months. Okay. But uh, no, I wrote Gang Business. I um, wrote now nah, that I just listened to that on the way here. I was like, yeah. bro, this nigga got yeah. like he got to blow. Yeah, for sure. I, I wrote Gang Business. Uh, yeah. I just had it like you feel me. I was just um, it was just like a, uh, like I heard the beat and then, mm. and then the beat the beat was so crazy. And then I was like, yeah, let me let me start writing it. So I wrote, I wrote the whole song like fast. That's what's up. And then I was rapping it. Um, we had some. It was the homegirl birthday, and then all oh, we was all there. The whole cinco, we was all there. And then I just start rapping it for them. They like, yeah, that's crazy. So when I get in the studio, I wrapped it, switched some stuff around, start freestyling. I wrote the I wrote the hook, like I wrote the whole beginning of the song, and then like I freestyled the rest. Okay. Okay. Speaking of Cinco, I don't think you were referring to Cinco Boys when you just said that. I think you were talking about yesterday, Cinco de Mayo, right? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm talking about the Cinco Boys. Oh, you we were? We was all there. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And then okay. I just was rapping it for him before I went to go record it. Can you speak on what the Cinco Boys are? Because a lot of people outside of the city don't know. Yeah, the Cinco Boys, we're a music group. Uh, me, DW Flame, Kai3, uh, Indian Blue, Bino, um, Fifth Half. Uh, we got we got some heat over there. It's definitely that's the weird family. Cinco familiar for sure. A lot familiar. Yes sir, yes sir. That's what's up. We just had Cinco de Mayo yesterday. It went crazy. That's what's up. Yes sir. Happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody. For Thank sure. You. Good mansion. All the shit. That's what's up. So I seen you there. Also, you have you have a kid recently. Yes. 
has fa your father it changed your life in any type of way? Yeah, I love that shit. I'm more like it made me more alert, and then I I protect my energy more. Who I'm dealing with, be more careful. But I'm definitely more dangerous. I gotta get home to my baby. I don't, I don't leave. Don't fuck with me. I won't fuck with you. Understood. That's yes, sir. Um. So, anything new coming up that you want us to know about? Uh, just go get that tape. Definitely, I'm gonna stay consistent. I'm gonna keep dropping uh music videos. That's uh, I'm gonna shoot a couple off the tape, but I'm for sure gonna keep working. It's gonna keep being new shit getting dropped. Yes, new sir, shit. Yes, sir. Uh, one more question I did want to touch on. If a deal approaches you, what like are you looking to sign? Or are you looking to stay independent? How is that looking? Uh, it'll probably be in the like. It, I'm I'm definitely into like a, a distribution deal. That's cool. Like a distribution deal, cool. But um, I'll probably end up doing like a little a couple album deal or like an album deal because th that's what's going on right now. So I'll probably do that. I definitely got some um, some meetings on the table, chopping it up. Definitely got some shit like some labels looking at me. Uh, I ain't gonna say who, but it's in the, it's in the works. It's in the circle for sure. That's what's up. Definitely. I appreciate you for letting us come through, man. Yeah, no problem. Just game. For real, for real. Keep working, bro. Is for there sure. anything you want? To, oh, one, one more thing. One more thing. Because um, I think you spoke on a clothing line or something like that. Oh yes. In the interview with Gusto. This summer, I'm finna fuck the summer up with the uh, with that streetwear for sure. It's gonna sure. be streetwear shit. It's gonna be uh, high fashion shit. You have a name Designer for it already? Shit. Yep. Important Savilta. That's my clothing line for okay. sure. I got it tatted on my face right here. For sure, for sure. So, so, so it's an Instagram page. <coughs> yep, Instagram. <coughs> Instagram page up. Everything. Y'all go follow that. I'm finna be dropping real soon. Yes, sir. Yes, I got sir. the load. The new logo is getting made right now, so it's a whole new transformation. Yes, it's sir. gonna be hot shit for sure. For sure. I appreciate you, bro. For real. Yep, for real. No problem, man. Yes, I'm looking. Y'all go tap in with my boy. I'm a frontline banger, real Saint Tainer. I did my gangsta to boogie when my life was in danger. I earned a couple stripes in the hood, nothing major. They labeled me a shooter, Paul George on a pace. I just cook how I was supposed to, the baby dog go to. The ops don't even know you, I'm just pointing out the obvious. Shooter and I scrub shit, I coulda got a scholarship. Play ball with politics. When it's smoke, I want all of it. It's that gang business. It's that gang business. It's that gang business, it's that gang business I'm a frontline banger, real Saint Tainer I did my gangs to boogie when my life was in danger I earned a couple stripes in the hood, nothing major They labeled me a shooter, Paul George on a pace just... So please, whatever Please, sub, sub, uh, I want to reach 1 million likes So please, sarapakara, sarapakara, sarapakara Sarapakarai, Sarapakarai, yes, yes. Okay, thank you.